Welcome back to the people who have watched the first video of the Ultimate Member. This is the second video for the Ultimate Member. If you would like to watch the first video, you will find the link in the description of uh, this video. The Ultimate Member is a number one user profile and membership plugin for WordPress. All the people who have chose to become members, this video tutorial is for you. You've created, you've registered, now it's time to create your profile and also add a little bit of information about your business. So let's start by logging in. To log in, you will need your username or your email that you have created. And then click on log in. This is what your dashboard will look like. You can create posts, you can look at the comments, you can also edit your profile. This is your profile here. You can choose a color scheme and you can enable keyboard shortcuts for comment uh, mod moderation. You can show your toolbar when viewing the site and your language. You will find your username and make sure that you know what your username is. You will find you can put your first name in. You can add your last name. You can also add your nickname. Your display name publicly as and your email address. Your website your Facebook profile, your Instagram profile, your LinkedIn profile, your Pinterest profile, your Tumblr profile, your Twitter profile, and your YouTube URL, a Wikipedia page about you if one exists, and a little bit of information about yourself and your profile picture. And you can change your profile picture at Gravatar. For me, I use a Google Doc I have created. I call it my links or URLs for all social media. And I will just open up this document. I will leave the link in the description for you to go and watch a video on how to get all of your social media links in one place so that they are ready at your fingertips. And you can also sign up for Grammarly, for Chrome, at to use with your Google Docs if you like. Here I have put all of my links for all of my social media in one place. And here I can just simply copy the link URL and put it in boxes here. I will use my smart bio link for Instagram copy.
Ini udah kebalik Give a little bit of information about yourself And here is your profile picture. You can create, you can change your profile picture on Gravatar. Simply by going into your Gravatar, add an email address, if you haven't created a Gravatar, I'll leave the link in the description for you to be able to get the information you need about creating a Gravatar. your profile picture here. Now this is a profile in your WordPress admin, which I have given you access to. And now here you can create your first post. I am using an incognito window here. This is what your admin dashboard will look like and this is what you will be able to do. I've noticed that quite a few people have created their own posts. And also gave access to a few other key elements for creating your post. I'm just waiting. And I'll say welcome to the blog editor. This is what your template will look like. Add your title. because added the capabilities of using um, categories and tags. So you would have your title and here you can see your score for your title. This is the body. This is the body. Here you can add a paragraph. You can also add a heading. And here you can see your information over here. This is at a heading. This is a paragraph. This is at a heading. And you can add different sizes of headings. And you can also use the color to change your text color. And you can also change your background color in your Gutenberg block. So you have your paragraph. You can add a paragraph. This is the first one. I'm just going to make this here into. I'm just going to copy this. I'm just going to cut this out. And from here, I'm just going to go and I'm going to add a heading with the paragraph. And you can take your time. So you can add a paragraph.
and you can also change the color and also the background color as well. You can add a list. And here you can go and type in item one, item two, or whatever you would like. So that is add a heading, and this one is add a list. So I'm just going to go here for one second, and I want to add another heading for add a list. Now it's important that you do use headings in order to break up your post. And here you can change your settings again, your color settings. And you can also change your background if you choose. You can also use the hyperlink. And this is where you will add your link to your offer. So this hyperlink here will add your link to your offer. And I am just going to go into one of my, but you can also add a link by simply highlighting your and click paste. Then this will then add your new link and you will see your word or your label for your link. So this would be the best way for you to add a link. Even when you add a heading, you can also add a link simply by highlighting and paste. Highlighting any word that you would like and paste. You can add a quote. So this is all of the capabilities that you have access to doing on this website. I'm just going to add another heading. And you will see this icon here. And again, you can look, you can also change the size. It is a preset size of default, but you can change it. Just by choosing one of these. And you can go into your text, change the color settings and the background settings. Now, when you're creating a, co uh, a post, you want to create a post so that people are interested in your post. And you're breaking up your post so it doesn't look like this is just all words here. Add another heading. And use the classic block. I'm going to see if you can use the classic block. You should be able to use it. Okay. So what is the classic block? For people who are used to the classic editor, this is the classic block. But the way to create a featured image is to go over to a place called Canva. Oops. And we're just going to go over to Canva. Now, I would ask that you respect this because I have an enormous amount of people that are joining as members, and I have to start restricting the amount of data that goes on the website until I create another a membership website that will hold more data. And then you want to go into Create a Design, Custom Size, 
and a U or a WordPress feature image is a 1200 by 628. And this is why I'm taking the time to show you this information because this is important. In order to have the website running quickly and at the optimal speed, I have to make sure that it doesn't crash. So with everybody who has been joining the, the website, I think that's great, but I am also only allowing you to put up one feature image. And this is why I am showing you how this is done on can, canva.com. If you see dimensions, you can upload it. But those are the dimensions that I would like to see used for the featured image. And those are the dimensions that Google picks up the best. So if you are creating a post and you want Google, Google to show it, and I will show you in the actual post, So I, here you can actually look at all of the different elements that you can add, photos, uploads, templates, text, styles, music, and you can create a free account today, or you can ask me to join as a partner in the canva.com that I have, which is the pro version, which will give you the ability to use all of the different pro features. Just send me an email request and I am looking for four people. So the first four people that ask me, I will add to this account. So I'm just gonna go into text right now because I just want to add a little bit of text here with the information that I am looking for. And here you can use different fonts, different sizes, and you have other uh, um, options and elements you can have a look at. The main thing is is using your two-headed arrow to make something bigger, using your four-headed arrow to move an element, or select all, and I'm just going to start typing in um, now, when you are creating your featured image, you want to make sure of a couple of things. First of all, you want to make sure that the information that you are putting up is information that will be seen uh, when it comes to what is here, which is your, your meta description and also with your featured image, you will see a picture. So getting back to You want to look at your spacing and make sure that you have the right spacing. And you want to make sure that your words are centered. And you want to have a main image that's located inside of your featured image because this is what you are featuring. So I am just going to use, I'm going to search in the elements and I'm going to find a frame. This is just a simple way how to do it. You don't have to, but this is what I found works the best. That particular image, then I want to have a frame that will suit it. So this one would be the best for me, right there. And then I will just change a little bit of information here. Change the color. And I find blue for the text is a good color. That looks good and, and Google picks up. And also I'm just going to use the black down here. Okay, and then go back into my images, my uploads, and 
to get the same picture and to put it into my frame. You just scroll over your frame until it catches your frame. Here you'll see. It catches your frame and then it clicks right into your frame. Okay? And you can also use these three dots and you have other things that you can do. Right now I am just going to copy this because I find the copying of the same, using the same font and same size helps in creating your featured image. And then I want to the image dimensions, which are 1200 pixels by 628. Now I find that this is too big, so I want to bring this down a little bit. It'll depend on what you are looking at. So basically this is what people are going to see, but you want to have a white background is good, but a white kind of washes out when you look at Google. So I'm just going to make this because I want this to just break this up a little bit and I want this to be red. Now my background. So I am looking here at my background and here you can choose your background. Color icon right here, and then new color, and then decide. And it's going to depend on what you would like. But I'm giving you the option to be able to create your featured image. And also, I am going to just make another add another subhead in here. So this is kind of like a template. So I want to, I want you to add your offer in here because this will be for people who are just beginning. And I know you want to fill up all of this space and, and everything, and you can do that. But when you are just doing a post, and I'm just going to change the color here, and I'm also going to, no, I'm going to change the line height because it's too big. And I'm also going to change the font because I want it to be a little bit thicker. Right. So for people who are just starting out, you can use this whole area, but most of it will not be seen. So I'm just now going to use an arrow And I will just type in arrow. And I am just used to doing this. And the more you do it, the easier it will become. A different, all different types of elements here. I'm looking for an arrow. When you join me on Canva, you will have access to the Canva Pro, which I use, in which I can have four people who would like to join me. You see here, when you have a free account, you will see free. When you have a pro account, you will see pro. When you join me at, on my account, which is a pro account, you will have access to all of the free and all of the pro. So say I just want to use this arrow here, and it will appear. And I don't like this arrow, so I'm going to take this arrow out, and I'm going to choose this arrow here. It will appear in the middle of your picture, so you will have to move it around. Okay. So 
make sure you click and you have the four headed arrow and then you just choose to move it and then what I'm going to do another thing that you can do and I didn't find this out until way later is you can use your you can use your cursor I'm just going to move this out of the way for now you can use your cursor and you can add different elements together and then you can copy the element if you want and just move it over to anywhere that you would like and then there okay so this is where and I'm just going to flip that around done and use the flip flip horizontal So, this right here, this area right here, is the best area for when you are sharing to your Facebook and to your Twitter. So then, the downward arrow, and they say ping is suggested to be. And then choose download. Wait until your file manager comes up and save your file in an area where you would like to find it later on. Okay, and then go back into there. So this is the classic block. You can also use the classic block editor. This is the classic block editor. When you add your media, you can add a featured image. Don't create a gallery or create an audio playlist or create a video playlist. Just add a featured image. Here you can upload your image that you created at Canva by selecting the file or you can use the media library and choose your image from the media library. Simply by clicking into the image. So this is featured image. You will see down here, you want to make sure you have your alt text. So what is alt text? Alt text is for people who are sight impaired. So you just would type in this image is a picture of a Okay, so that is my alt text right there. The title will be I can use the title just the same as I use a caption or a description. And then here, click Set Featured Image. Now when you look in your document, you will see your featured image. Next, you want to have a focus key phrase. Because you will also have the ability to be able to use Yoast.
Meta description. This is your post. This is your title. Make sure you have your image that you have uploaded using the uh, Gutenberg Classic Ed. You can add a paragraph, add a head list, add a quote. You can also add a button. And you can put your button anywhere in your post. If you choose to add a button, you can also get your affiliate link. You can also customize your button if you choose by clicking into the Gutenberg block and here your color settings will appear. There are many different blocks here that you can use. Add custom HTML. And this is where you will go and either over to your ClickBank, to your Amazon, or, or to your share. Right click and paste preview you have the disclaimer in here as well have information about your business your website and where you can be found online and other affiliate offers if you have any your disclaimer in and also at the end of your post you can also use these social media icons And you would just click into each one of these icons and you can put whatever information you would like and you can also add new social media icons and this will give people an idea of where they can find you if you are on Etsy you can add Etsy any place that you are on you can add For your document, you want to make sure that you have, you know what your permalink is. This is what your permalink will look like. You've chosen your categories. And you can see the categories that I already have here. You can add a new category. I will leave the link in the description to the video that I created that will give you a more detailed look into Yoast. Just click on add tag. And it will appear right here at the top. You can add new tags, as many tags as you like. You can go over to the keyword tool and find tags you'd like to use. You can use the excerpt, which could be the same as your meta description. So here is the post. 
the members. You will see all of the recent post was just created by me as DIY Affiliate Marketing 2020. This is a post that was created by somebody else. Here are some more members' profiles. And once they have, once they edit their profile, you will be able to see more information. You can search for a username, 20, new 2020. Here is the profile, and you can also edit your profile right from the WordPress site. As you have two profiles. You have your own profile that you have with the WordPress, and a profile that I have created for you. This is my profile, and as you can see here, me. <laughs> well, that shouldn't be right. That's not right. <laughs> Upload a cover photo. Just using this as an example. Check mark. information so this is what the profile will look like with your cover photo your profile um, picture if you've created any posts you just click into your post And if there are any comments. And here, just going to go back to the profile that I created in the profile in the WordPress admin. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions at all, then please leave your questions in the comments. And I have a lot of comments that I need to look at right now. I have 947 comments to go through. But if you have any questions at all, but as you can see, you can edit your profile, and when a person sees this, they don't really get a lot of information who you are. They just see a square with a mystery person in it, but it doesn't really say any type of infor information as to who you are. So this is this video is for you to be able to edit your admin your WordPress admin profile and be able to create a Gravatar.
create a gravatar. Your gravatar will show up here when you see recent posts. This is your gravatar. You can also edit your profile at any time. This will bring you into the membership site profile. This is your admin profile. There are and this is where you can give a lot of information. And because this is admin, I will have social media. And you can change your profile at Gravatar. What we'll be creating is about how to use the Buddy Press and the BB Press. So stay safe and looking forward to hanging out with you. Stay safe and looking forward to hanging out with you in the next video.